beautiful people of the internet, my name is Johnny and today we have a brand new teaser on ScottGames.com. It is of course for the upcoming untitled FNAF game being made by Steel Wolf Studios themselves. Now this one is interesting, it's a more detailed look at a, another character coming along with that game, if you guys remember a little bit back we got a detailed teaser of Rockstar, or not Rockstar, sorry, what are their names again? I think it's Glamrock, Glamrock Freddy, and now we have an entirely new character. Their name we do know, and we'll get to that. So this is the teaser right here, as you can see it is a completely new character, still in the same setting, the mall that is uh, currently being built and teased, that was teased in a uh, new update to FNAF Up Wanted. Now if you take a look back at the very first teaser we ever got for the brand new FNAF game, you can see that this guy is center stage along with Freddy, since there's four characters that can't really be a center animatronic, so he is in the center along with Freddy, so clearly he has some sort of importance, or maybe he's just there in the center with Freddy, I don't really know. So when we got the teaser of Freddy, Freddy's slogan was rock. And this new character is Jam. Kind of the same thing. So actually looking at the character as a whole now, we can tell they are not your typical FNAF character. Like I've said many times, because I keep repeating myself, I'm very tired. Um, this is a brand new creature. This is not Foxy. This is, it looks like there are three possibilities that people are saying. Alligator, um, crocodile, or lizard. Honestly, I don't know which one it could be. It could just be a normal lizard, but the snout, you know, with the with the nostrils at the end and the very sharp teeth, does make me lean more towards alligator slash crocodile, but I'm not really sure. It's kind of sad that brightening up this teaser um, doesn't really show anything. We've had this happen for the past couple of teasers, and it's been a little bit sad, you know? I miss the good old days when we used to brighten up the teasers and we'd find like secret codes and secret messages, but now this one doesn't really have anything to show. Honestly, it does seem like this new character is green-ish, it's got a greenish hue to them, but yeah, the tail, it's got those like spots on it, so that, that alone just makes, also the tail is not a typical foxy tail. It's also not a typical bunny tail. Like you look at the back of um, Toy Bonnie, for example, they've got a little rod sticking out and then they've got a big circular white ball at the end to show that it's a bunny tail. And then you look at the Foxies, like Funtime Foxy, and you can see that this tail is completely different. It's it's pointier, it's more smooth, you know? Foxy, Foxy's, uh, Funtime Foxy's tail goes up and then it kind of does like a little swirl. This tail is just, it goes out and it ends at a point. It's very simple, and the dots, like I said, make it appear to be a lizard tail. They're holding a guitar, which is interesting, because normally that's Bonnie's role. Actually, is there a Bonnie character? Hold on, let me let me actually check, because I don't know. We have a Freddy, we have this character, which I still haven't announced the name yet. It doesn't appear that there was a Bonnie character. I'm looking at the original teaser, which I will, of course, put up on screen now, but it looks like it's just this Freddy character, this lizard character, and then two others. Probably one of them is Chica, the other one, I don't know who it could be. Now, let me finally tell you guys their name. Uh, when you save the image, it saves as, let me find it again, jeez, I thought I was so organized for this, I clearly was not. It saves as Montgomery.jpg. And someone also went into the metadata, I have no clue what that fucking means, of the, uh, of the image, and it says Slice's group name, Glamrock underscore Monty underscore poster. So this character is named Montgomery, nickname Monty. Now some people are also making connections to this green lizard-ish mask that you can see in Happiest Day. And to be honest, I would not be surprised if this is what Scott was going for, okay? Um, because originally we thought it was Happy Frog, but does that really look like a frog? Not really. It could maybe be representing the purple mask from that minigame, because we don't really have anything else to connect that to. Mr. Hippo, yeah, but the snout on that mask is really long, and Mr. Hippo's snout 
isn't that long. So maybe there was a color swap, or maybe this isn't even referencing Happiest Day at all. It's also worth noting that the source code for this image is the exact same. Sta uh, saying, stand the course, I will, follow my voice, I will, don't let anyone lead you astray, I won't, have you selected one, I have. Now, people are also calling attention to this girl in the front. People are either saying that it's Vanny, or that it's Vanny's victim that she has selected, as you can tell from the source code saying, have you selected one, I have. People are pointing out this is, that this is the only character that doesn't have their glow stick in the air, waving it about for Monty. They're also a lot more detailed, you can tell by the hair and the face, and just the, the overall body image that they have. They appear to have more work put into them than the other characters. And again, this is still in the same mall. You can tell from the palm tree decorations, and the, uh, the escalators, and the whole neon lights, and all that stuff. It's interesting that we're getting a brand new spanking new character, you know? Throughout all these games, throughout all these series, it's always been Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy as the four main guys. And now here comes this brand new game being, being made by Steel Wool, and you've got Freddy, Monty, what looks like some Chica character, and then a completely new character as well. It's interesting that Scott has replaced Bonnie and Foxy, if we're assuming the character on the far right in the original image isn't Foxy or Bonnie, which, let's be honest, doesn't really look like that's gonna be the case. I don't think that final character is a Bonnie or a Foxy, I think it is, just like Monty, a brand new character for this game. Do you know that, like I said earlier, Vanny is going to appear in this game somewhere. Whether she is that girl at the front of the stage, I'm not entirely sure, but it's interesting that we don't have just like a little bit of Vanny teasing. Because if you remember in the detailed, um, let me actually find it, sorry, I'm talking but also trying to look for the teaser at the same time. In the updated teaser of the detailed Freddy, you can see Vanny, god where is it, there it is, you can see Vanny up on the roof of all places, looking down with what is presumably a knife in her hands. So whether this girl at the front of the stage is Vanny or her victim, I don't know. Whether people are just looking into this <laughs> farther than they should be, the fact that they're more detailed than others, I don't know. I have seen on the Reddit that some people are skeptical about this new game because it is adding a brand new uh, cast of characters. Again, replacing Bonnie and Foxy. Presumably those two. Um, so, my stance on it, I think it's great. I think it's great. Again, like, if you think about it, the series is nearly six years old. And this is a little bit of innovation, you know? We're not throwing out Bonnie and Foxy. There is no way in hell Scott is going to allow Steel Wool Studios to throw out two amazing characters that have been here since the absolute beginning. There is no way that's going to happen. I'm sure Bonnie and Foxy will make an appearance in this game somewhere, especially considering that they are the two most popular characters. Well, may maybe Freddy's above Bonnie, but Foxy, there's no way they are passing that opportunity. Steel Wool Studios did such an amazing job with Help Wanted, I I fully believe in them. I fully believe that they can pull this off. Um, also, I should mention this uh, because I was talking about uh, this character making reference to other characters, specifically the mask in FNAF 3. People have also been comparing this to Old Man Khan from FNAF World and Ultimate Custom Night. I don't think that's the case. Honestly, I don't know what Old Man Consequences is. I don't know what he's supposed to be, but just one glance at his design, you can tell that he's red because uh, he, he's just fully red, and so I think comparing him with this new character that we can tell, especially when we brighten it up, is very clearly green, I don't think that's the case. I don't think this is Old Man Consequences. Anyways, I know I'm really late on this, I'm sorry. Um, I, I haven't looked at anyone else's videos, I know that Fusion and Darko have already uploaded their videos, I haven't watched those yet, so I don't know what their thoughts are on this. Right now, I'm really hyped for this new character. I hope, god I hope he has a voice. Because if there's one thing I love, it's voice acting for the characters. I'm a little bit concerned about the release date, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Steel World Studios has hopefully been working real hard. They have been in the dark for a long time. I think they've only released 
one, maybe two updates for Help Wanted since Curse of Dreadbear, so there hasn't been that many updates, which hopefully means that they're working real hard on this new title, which hopefully they are. Hopefully they're taking their time on it, though, because I want it to be good. Um, the fact that we've only seen two teasers and it's nearing the end of March does concern me a little bit, but like I said earlier, I have full trust in Steel Wolf Studios. I'm sure they're doing a amazing job just kicking ass out there in the studios. Um, I'm not sure uh, how well they're going to perform with the uh, a certain virus that I'm not going to name because I don't want to get demonetized. Um, Scott did address that, saying he hopefully shouldn't have too many, you know, cancellations of things. Uh, I think someone mentioned the production on the books and how those are going to go with this unnamed virus. Um, and Scott said that it hopefully shouldn't injure the projects too much. So hopefully we can still expect expect this title for 2020. Um, but based on the information we've gotten, two out of four characters teased, and it's nearing the end of March, I would guess probably a quarter three, maybe even a quarter four release date. But right now I'm I'm really bank I'm really banking on quarter three. Okay? But I don't work at Steel Wolf, so that's not final. Anyways, I think that's just about it. There's not really much to talk about. Because it is a new character and we don't have too much information on them. Ow, I kicked my desk with my foot. Um, yeah, because it's a new character, we don't know too much about them, so there is a lot to speculate. As you can tell, I was just throwing out so many ideas, um, hoping one of them lands somewhere, especially with the references from this character and the girl at the front of the stage. I don't know if those are true. I don't know if those are true, okay? I just want to point that out. Maybe the girl isn't Vanny. Maybe the girl isn't her victim. Maybe people are looking into that too much. I don't know, but for right now, that is it. I also know that I missed an upload the other day, and I'm sorry, I legit fell asleep on my living room couch. <laughs> I have recorded half a video of the summary of Into the Pit, and I am planning on getting that done possibly tomorrow, but right now, Things are not going well in real life, so sorry if it's delayed a bit. <laughs> yeah, so that is it for this update video. Hopefully we're gonna tease a new uh, really soon because I actually really, really enjoy when we get new teasers. It's just fills me with hype. So hopefully you guys are helped. Nope, God. <sighs> hopefully you guys are hyped too. Nailed it, and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.